Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Peter and in this video I have something quite different to show you. I had this Intel Compute Stick for quite a while, but then recently I bought the Noctua NH-U14S to upgrade my cooling in the PC. And I started wondering, the stick gets very warm and it's probably throttling, so would it be faster with better cooling? Unfortunately, I was not able to find any information on how to unlock and overclock the M36Y30 CPU, so I'm stuck with the stock settings, but still, I think it's a fun experiment. And so, I've built this monstrosity. Um, unfortunately, wasn't able to get the radiator directly on the CPU die due to its just its size. Um, so I just put some thermal paste on the original radiator and just mounted the Noctua on top of it. And I have to say, it's probably gonna be pretty difficult to put it on the back of my TV. Um, but anyways, so here it is. It looks ridiculous. Um, but let's uh, see the benchmarks now. So I ran the BMW test in Blender and here are the results. And as expected, it, it made basically no difference. I ran the test three times um, with stock cooling, Noctua with fan at full speed and Noctua set to passive cooling. So I just removed the fan from it. Um, theoretically, uh, the upgrade saved me two minutes, but it's close to a margin of error, so I wouldn't get excited. Um, what surprises me, though, are the clock speeds. So Noctua with active cooling was, was half the temperature, yet the clocks were 13 MHz lower. And on passive cooling, the clocks were 18 MHz higher, even though the temps were somewhere in the middle. Um, maybe you know how to explain it, because I definitely don't. And by the way, if you know how to overclock the Intel stick, please share it in the comments, because I would really love to redo these tests and see some actual gain. Okay, so that was pretty fun, um, hope you enjoyed this video, if so, please consider subscribing and have a great rest of the day, bye!